Dr. Yahaya is director of the affairs department, and um, I've worked very closely with him. I had known him for his uh, intellectual capacities. He's retired, I'm sure he's not tired, and has left behind a legacy. Wherever Yahaya is, we only see the sign of excellence. Dr. Yahaya is a man of the people. I must be frank with you, Dr. Yahaya is an exceptional boss. Dr. Aya is unarguably one of the most dynamic manager of men and resources. I feel like shedding some tears. Dr. Aya is more than a boss. He's like a big brother to me. And I must confess that I learned a lot from him. Working with Dr. Isiaka Yahaya has been an amazing adventure. We call him Daddy Yo. I want to also thank you for everything you've done over the years. And the man that will never be forgotten. It has been all our pleasure to work with him in PAD. It's one thing to have a father and it's another thing to have a good father. Dr. Yaya is a good father. I'm serious, please. I'm going to miss him. Dr. Yaya, you came, you saw, you conquered. It's a privilege to be with Director of Public Affairs National Population Commission Headquarters Abuja hosted this afternoon by Talk with Valerie on YouTube. With me is Dr. Yahaya Isiaka. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing Yeah, today? good afternoon, Valerie. And it's nice to see you again. Thank you so much, sir. It's nice to be here. There is this saying that all good things must come to an end. And you have served the nation. You have served National Population Commission. And you'll be leaving very soon we'd just like to know how your journey has been so far yes like uh, you rightly observe everything that has a beginning must have an end my journey you know started on a very good note and it's going to end on the best of notes so it's been a very useful experience of service to the nation so do you have any message out there for your incoming director and your colleagues will be leaving behind. Yes, uh, we, yeah, my message or my advice is that uh, they should keep the flag flying. Publicity is very, very key to the successful conduct of the census, to also the vital registration we carry out and every other activity of the commission. And they should explore various ways, you know, very, very innovative in publicizing the activities of the commission. We cannot afford to rely on the traditional means of radio, television, and this. We need to use the social media. We also need to get to the people at the grassroots. Grassroot. Network, you know, with organizations that have the reach. All these are innovations that we need to be, bring to bear on our activities for Nigeria to be aware of the census and also to accept that we must conduct the census. Mm -hmm. Dr. Yahaya is Director of Public Affairs Department and um, I've worked very closely with him. He's highly resourceful, very diligent, hardworking and very innovative. He has actually contributed to making the preparation for the census very, very successful and uh, also the electronic and vital registration uh, systems that uh, we are operating. Uh, we're go going to miss him. Uh, on his retirement, but uh, life continues. I'm quite. I wish him uh, all the best in his uh, uh, future endeavors. Thank you. I must say the retirement of uh, Dr. Yahaya, who I can say is a friend, a brother, uh, is with mixed feelings. I've known Dr. Yahaya for quite some time now. Uh, when both of us were civil servants. Uh, as far back as maybe 1990-1991 uh, I've known him and over the years we have continued to relate uh, with each other as uh, junior and senior colleagues uh, but I got to really know him more closely uh, when he resumed as the Director of Public Affairs and I was the Chairman of the Committee uh, in this relationship, I came to appreciate his enormous leadership qualities, his enormous leadership abilities. I had known him for his uh, intellectual capacities before then. Uh, he had written uh, several memos and letters which I had 
uh, opportunity to make inputs into. So I have no doubt about his intellectual abilities and capacities. I wish him all the best. Uh, he is a young man, passionate about his job, professional, very friendly, articulate when it comes to issues that affect his job and the commission. I'm so happy for him that he's retiring and retiring gracefully and happily. He should be a fulfilled person, having reached the pinnacle of his career. And I wish him all that a mother can wish a child. And I wish him all the best in the next phase of life. Dr. Yaya has been a jolly good fellow and uh, a brother from Kwara. Though I started work in Lagos, we didn't really start together. I met him here in Abuja when I moved over to the headquarters. And ever since then, I've admired his intelligence. But then, we cannot see, uh, do without realizing that a star in Dr. Yaya has passed through here and has left behind a legacy. So I congratulate him on his uh, retirement and I wish him a happy retirement life. I knew Dr. Yaya when Ajia Kadir used to call her Yaya. That's how I knew Yaya then. Dr. Yaya is a man of the people. I knew Dr. Yaya as I know PAD. I came to PAD meeting Dr. Yaya there. Then he wasn't a doctor. We used to call him Yaya then. The one outstanding thing about Dr. Yaya is hard work. He's very hardworking. Dr. Isaac Yaya is stooped to conquer. And I should say kudos to him. And I should say well done. He served humbly and eventually he was exalted to the position of a director. So best of luck and God bless. Dr. Yaya happens to be my boss and uh, I must be frank with you, Dr. Yaya is an exceptional boss. He's not somebody that you come with, you know, so many times on your journey in life. Uh, immediately I got recruited into the National Population Commission. I was actually added over to him to work with and my experience, my positive experience started with him. Over the years, I mean like he has been like a brother to me. He's not only a brother, he's like a biological brother from another mother. He has been very supportive. He's not only supportive, he's like a mentor. I learned so many things from him and they are all positives. And uh, as a junior brother to him, I pray for him every day. We all miss him so much. Thank you so much. Dr. Yahya Isiaka Alada is a colleague. We started working with the National Population Commission as far back as 1990, 91. I see Yahaya as a diligent and dedicated officer, an officer who carry along his subordinates wherever he is. He is not only a director today, he has been a teacher, a moderator, and by implication a media guru yahya has written a book the myth that has to do with the leadership and style of sheikh musa towards 1991 census and wherever yahya is we only see the sign of excellence we should continue with the positive impact he has been making in the commission as well as to the larger society and i pray that the future will be brighter okay it's uh, very difficult talking about him without being so emotional or feeling like shedding some tears okay it's more than a boss it's like a big brother to me it's hard to let go but then what can we do must go someday and one day. It's interesting working with Dr. Aya. I've learned a lot from him. He's a very passionate leader. 
very cerebral. And I know he has left a good legacy behind. I will miss him. I pray that God will take him to greater places and greater opportunities to be open to him. I want to join the legion of Dr. Yahya's well wishes to congratulate him on this auspicious occasion of his retirement from the service of the National Population Commission. Dr. Yahya is unarguably one of the most dynamic, innovative and astute manager of men and resources that the Public Affairs Department have had over the years. He brought his experiences to bear on how to conduct public affairs. My work with Dr. Aya over the years have added value to my professionalism and working with him was indeed an experience that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Dr. Aya is a director everyone will be proud to have because of his intelligence, brilliance and the resolution. I'm privileged to work closely with him and I must confess that I learned a lot from him. He's a boss who encourages and readily available to share knowledge. He's very innovative, resourceful and a great asset to the Commission. No doubt the Commission will miss his expertise and professionalism. Most especially at this time we are on the verge of conducting the first digital census in Nigeria. I wish him a very happy retirement and greater height in his future endeavors. Thank you. Working with Dr. Isiaka Yahaya has been an amazing adventure. His work ethic, his expert advice and nurturing has helped us navigate the rough and sometimes smooth waters of civil service. Though he is known for his own open door policy, where you could just walk up to him and tell him any issue you're having in your personal life, and he will give you insightful advice. I'm going to miss him because uh, I, I see now that most of what I learned from him, I'm putting it into practice while I'm studying and I'm achieving very great results. So once again, I say congratulations, sir. Happy retirement, sir. Once again, I would say congratulations to my former director. He is a very good man. He's like a father. We call him Daddy Yo because he embraces, he loves, he shows cares, he shows concern to all the staff. And uh, he, he, he listens. He listens. That's what I really like about him. I wish him more success. I'm actually missing him already. Oh, I'm missing him seriously. I wish him well. Doctor Yaya is my dad in office. And seriously, I'm going to miss him. Always laughing. In fact, he's so caring. Congratulations. The Lord will increase you. We'll keep you in good heads. I will continue to hear good news from you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to congratulate Dr. Yaya on his retirement. Words are not enough to thank you for your tireless efforts, your tireless work, and your strong commitment to the department. I want to wish you um, joy, fulfillment, long life, prosperity, and every of your hard desires will be granted. It is just making me amazing. I just want to wish Dr. Yaya a big, big congratulations on his retirement and I pray for him that the good Lord will continue to keep him safe, watch over him and everything that he desires for himself and is a man that will never be forgotten so soon. I want to say congratulations once again to you, sir. I just want to congratulate Dr. Yaya. First of all, I want to say it has been my honor to work with him and to get to know him personally and I love every advice that he has given me. It has been all our pleasure to work with him in PAD. God bless him, his retirement and everything he has to do in the future. I really want to congratulate Dr. Yaya on his retirement. It has been a great privilege to work under his leadership, under his charismatic leadership. 
he has actually been a father figure and also a good leader on behalf of coppers you know it's one thing to have a father and it's another thing to have a good father dr yaya is a good father he's not just a leader but he's actually a good father and i pray that as he pursue his career i pray that may the lord see him through all his endeavors dr yahaya is an incredible leader and a great mentor and it has been a great privilege to you know work with him as a social media blogger and influencer for national population commission under the public affairs department i wish him all the best in this new journey he's going to embark on keep being an incredible leader keep being a great mentor dr yaya my mentor my friend my trouble person what can i say a lot have been said about you fine gentleman Dr. Yaya, you came, you saw, you conquered. What do I pray for you? That Jesus, God in heaven, to continue to uplift you, to continue to show you favor, to continue to direct your path and give you wisdom to continue to direct your future endeavors as you have done in National Population Commission over the years. My fine gentleman, Congratulations. I will miss you. Looking back, you know, strange to me.